So guys, today let's take a look at the Project Pixel Edge for Red Note 9 Pro and Pro Max. So this is the information of the custom ROM that I'm going to review today. So this is Project Pixel Edge 2.4. So first of all, let's go to the settings and take a deeper look at the about. So here is the about phone. So in about phone, you can see this is Android version 15 and the haptic feedback is working really good there is no issue with that and the kernel used in this rom is 4.14.355 open of phantom kernel and the security update is latest that is 5 january and the maintainer of this rom is zohaib so thank you zohaib for making this rom for redmi note 10 pro and pro max in network and internet we get network traffic indicator that is working fine then we have show data disabled icon 4g icon data usage private dns and sims so in sim it shows the number and in internet we get the typical ui which is just same as before and if you are facing issues like some websites are not opening or flipkart not responding like that then you have to choose the automatic option because this is the issue of the dns and in some roms this issue arises because of apns so that's a different thing and now in system we get the thermal profiles so that is a good feature and useful so here you can see i have set the benchmarking applications to benchmark the camera to camera and gaming is set to gaming i mean call of duty is set to gaming then we have the gestures and in gestures we have a lot of gesture options like swipe to screenshot then quick torch then quickly open camera navigation mode press and hold power button here you get the advanced restart and power menu then we have playback control double tap to check phone so in navigation mode we have circle to search and yes this is working fine you can see the circle to search is definitely working and in gesture navigation we get the gesture indicator we can hide it then if i go to miscellaneous you can see we have google play integrities proof so if i show you the play store here you can see the device is certified if you see the device is not certified somehow then you can click on fix device issue then it will fix the safety net and it will get the device certification and now there is nothing left to talk about and yes if you have live translate turned on make sure to turn it off because it is really annoying when you are in a chat in whatsapp now in storage this is the storage ui of android 15 then in wallpaper and style we get this typical ui although everything is just similar like android 14 except the preview and in more wallpapers you get this pixel settings you can choose between ai wallpaper and emoji workshop too and you have option to choose from photos and by default this wallpaper is applied and this is dynamic wallpaper when the device is on dark theme the wallpaper will be dark just like it is now okay so the shortcuts are this and talking about the display in display we get the dark theme and in dark theme we get the pure black as you can see so when i turn on the dark theme and turn on the your black you can see it really affects the theme then we have icon manager in the status bar and then we have color contrast we can choose between medium and high contrast and it will affect the overall look like this but i like to keep it on default and we get the refresh rate and we have adaptive refresh rate and if you want better battery backup like six hours plus then you can choose the 60 hertz because in 120 hertz you get maximum six hours of screen time if you drain it to zero percent okay so this is for displays and we don't have app specific refresh rate and in sound and vibration we get the increasing ring volume which is really helpful and nothing extra and yes we have the dolby atmos and it is working great as compared to other roms and the experience is really immersive it's just like a stop room And in additional sounds you get these sounds then we have default notification sound and adaptive sound live caption etc then in apps we have the game space so in game space we have plenty of options like danmaku notification mode in cam in game call option the ringer mode block full screen event stay awake lock gestures disable usb debugging swipe to screenshot this all auto brightness and we also have quick start apps so the apps will be visible in the the tile itself but it will not open in mini window 
it will open in full screen so remember that and if you go to settings you get an option use angle which is experimental graphic settings now we have clone apps and of course we have the private space in android 15 i had not turned it on so moving to that option really soon but before that in accessibility we get the extra dim the timing control etc and now in security and privacy we get these options we get the privacy dashboard the private space and you can set up this then we have the privacy controls the camera access mic access etc and in device unlock we have pin fingerprint and face unlock and i did not set the face unlock because i don't personally use that okay so this is for the about now for the quick settings panel this is the quick settings panel and i added these tiles and you get these tiles you can see we have dedicated dolby atmos button i mean tile and yeah this is it and if you click on here you get the restart option and we have the advanced restart and if i hold in the home screen we get the home settings and in home settings you get these options we get the pixel launcher and in wallpaper preference style we will be redirected to these settings and in widgets if we tap on any widget we get an option to add like you can see so yeah this is it now talking about the stock applications for call recording you can use bcr because the stock call recorder has the announcement so make sure to use the bcr and i'm using it and it is working really fine there is no issue with that it never misses any calls so that's a good thing now we have the nx camera in this room and the nx camera is fully working even the slow motion is working you can see and i mean the 960 fps you can see let it process so let's see the recorded video and you can see the 960 fps is working fine i hope you can notice so yes the nx cam is fully working and we also have the pro mode and in video mode we get up to 4k 30 fps so yeah the nx cam is fully working and if i talk about the screen recorder the screen recorder is working really fine and we get only some light lags so when i show you let me do this again so i have to choose the entire screen you can see the recording starts and you get some light lags and the and the refresh rate switches to 60 hertz you can see there is some light lags let's end this and this is the recents the typical pixel like recent and the select feature is working as you can see you can directly select the images and save them and we have the clear all button but the ram management is not that good because when i open the call of duty and open any other application the game gets removed from the ram so it loads it again now we have the dedicated dolby atmos application and in dolby atmos application you get these settings you can set custom equalizer etc and talking about the other applications so we have the gemini and yes we have pixel studio which is definitely working and it says like this it wants to download the model but when you click on create and let me just type something so for example let's type this and it will generate an image so you can see it generates very crystal clear images as you can see and you can also download it directly or you can share it from here and you can also copy this so when i go to photos and this directory you can see the image it generates is really sharp but if you zoom in you will notice that this is not pirated or anything like that it is completely ai generated and in the about you will get the info that is this image is ai generated so yeah this feature is working in this build that's really good now i did not have any issue with the payment apps you can see when i open the google pay it works flawlessly and i did not have any issue in other payment apps like federal bank or any other banking applications this is it for the stock applications now let's head to the performance section so the Antutu application is set to performance so when the thermal profile is set to benchmark the performance is really good and it scores 3,96,145 which is a great score in my point of view because in previous ROM like I was on C Android and in that ROM I was getting only 3,20,000 that, that is not an acceptable score however in this ROM the performance is really good and the score is 
really good and i also tested the geekbench let me show the geekbench score and all these benchmarks were taken in the thermal profile that is the gaming that is the benchmark thermal profile so when the geekbench was set to gaming in the thermal profiles i got 735 in single core and 1807 in multi core so the scores are really good and i also tested the cpu throttling and the cpu throttling was like this it total 94% of the maximum performance which is not bad actually and the performance in gaming is really good I play Call of Duty and in 90 FPS mode I get around 86 to 88 FPS really constant so currently I don't have VGMI installed so I will do a quick gaming review with the Call of Duty in the Call of Duty and for FPS you can take a look at the frame rate I mean FPS style in the game space so if I show you the graphics settings the graphics is maximum unlocked you can see we have up to ultra and there is no proof applied I think and now let's quickly play a match to show you the frame rate and the gaming performance is really good not the best but it's pretty balanced I will say because there was no major frame drops in the gameplay so here you can see the frame rate is set to 90 FPS and it is easily pushing around 86 to 89 fps really good but if you want to play at 120 fps it will not be able to give constant 120 fps because the hardware is not that capable and it's too old for now so you can see there is little bit frame drops around 67 fps but it never gets down gets below 60 so the performance is really decent in the games Enemy in sight. You sit down. And uh, if you play for an hour or two, you will notice that the temperature rises. So let's end the game now. So the temperature rises around 39 to 40 degree when you play for um, 15 minutes and if you do longer gaming sessions then the maximum temperature will be around 40 to 42 degrees in call of duty and if you play bgmi in max settings like if you unlock the settings and play then the maximum temperature will be around 44 degrees so that is not too much but it's quite noticeable now talking about the installation let me head over to the post so for installation you have to use the orange fox erops compression so when you open the link of the recovery you will get the direct download link however don't use the integrated browser in the telegram just click on open in chrome and when you click on open in it should open in the browser otherwise you can directly copy the link from here and download it and the rom download link is this one so when you go to this site I mean this link you will get the direct link of pixel pixel is 2.4 so you have to click on it to download it and also don't download from here click on open in and you can take this and it will open in the chrome browser and from here you will be able to download the rom so this is it and for installing the rom the steps are not that difficult first flash the firmware then of course the rom and you don't need gfs because this is a gfs build then format data and reboot so that's it and the decryption is working in the recovery so you don't have to worry about using any secondary storage or something like that so that's it and this is it for this video the experience in this rom was really good i could not complain much about this the rom is really stable at least as compared to cr droid the performance is really better i will say although the cr droid is kind of battery backup or kind of daily driver rom however but the performance in this rom is better as compared to cr droid while compromising the battery backup although the battery backup is not that bad the maximum screen time you will get in is six hours that's what i got basically and if you have 
the battery health of around 95% then you will get around 7 hours of screen time so that's it and the fluidness is really good in this ROM as I mentioned earlier you will get very less jitters in the ROM so yeah if you want a good performance and the smoothness I mean UI smoothness and like that you can definitely give it a try this is a pixel based room so the experience will be great so yeah this is it for this video if you found this video helpful make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you do, if you are new to my channel make sure to subscribe to this channel and if you have any further questions feel free to comment below i will see you in the next one bye bye